I think that our robotics program is very impactful. There are so many careers and so many things that they can go into, and this is just like just the tip of the iceberg. Some of these kids are going to be engineers, and it, you know, if we can put them on a path that this is something they might want to do with their life, I think that um, you know it can definitely change somebody's maybe thoughts of science and, and technology and everything else. So I think it's a I think it's a pretty big deal that we have it going on here. I can't even begin to explain. FTC to participate is um, its substantially higher than the other uh, activities at school. It just has opened up so many more doors for this team um, to, to be more competitive and, and to be able to get the things that we need to get. And then on a personal note, we did have um, one student who needed um, some help with the uh, entrance fee and it was able, we were able to have a scholarship this year and that was, that was really nice because we don't ever want somebody to not be able to participate in robotics because of the you know, monetary constraints. Well, the First Tech Challenge, it's just about having fun and making a robot and competing. And then you um, clash with other people and see how your ro robots work together. I was interested in robotics because I wanted to see how robotics worked. And I really liked how to see them like compete and like see them run. I thought it was really cool. My friend Keegan got me involved in it and I've really always wanted to uh, program and be a part of, say, a robotics team because it just sounds interesting to me. Our team is broken into three sub-teams. We have the builders who are responsible for basically putting the robot together. They, and we broke them up this year into the chassis, which is the main part of the robot, the claw, which is the part that was actually picking up our, our elements this year. Our programmers are our second group. They're, they're very new to all of this, but same thing. We just kind of broke them up and who wants to try to do autonomous, which is where the robot has to go by itself, and who wants to do driver controlled. And then we have our chairman's team who are supposed to kind of oversee everything and they kind of do all aspects and then they're in charge of the engineering notebook and the posters and basically the biographies and everything else we need to do to just get it all done for competition. I didn't really want to do robotics at first, but I just saw it. My mom thought it would be interesting, but then I really grew to like it throughout um, sixth and seventh grade. I've become a pretty good builder. I've built most of the robot. I was interested in robotics because I love doing things with my hands and I love to always learn programming and building. I did it through elementary and I thought it was really cool being able to build and program the robots. So I decided to join to see what it was like to decide if I was going to join next year. And I think I am. Our team name, the Ballabots, revolves around our main coach, Miss Bala. She helps us a lot while everyone else is doing like the actual engineer part. My role is a builder. I'm one of the builders who helped out with the claw, but I did help out with the chassis and stay, I stayed after like an hour or once or twice and helped with other parts that needed to be helped with. Well, I'm a chairman this year. Last year I was a builder, but I decided to switch it up and do a chairman. And so I basically did like most of the engineering notebook. And so that just tells like about our team and stuff. The hardest part of the chairman team is probably getting everyone else to stop just looking at their phones and actually work. If there's ever a student that's on the fence or considering it and they're not quite sure, I would say come and see what it's all about. Don't necessarily judge it by the first few times. It's going to get a lot more fun and a lot more exciting.